to the short student guide to the identification of Pseudotsuga menzizae, which just happens to be one of my favourite trees. The bark of the Douglas fir is very rugged, uh, grey, with brown, light brown fissures running in between. Even from semi-maturity it's relatively thick and corky in appearance and it's quite distinctive when you encounter it within a conifer plantation. Uh, as the trees mature this becomes a really noticeable feature uh, of the trunk because they're, they're slightly distorted, slightly malformed by the amount of corky bark that's present on them. A young tree, vigorously growing, typically pyramidal, uh, Christmas tree like when they become mature they're much more erratic with lateral branches and maybe competing spires appearing um, but normally with a roughly uh, a triangular pyramidal outline um, but as you can see with this one quite a lot of rather random laterals appearing uh, the male pollen cones uh, born in large numbers hang down relatively narrow in shape pale uh, from the shoot appearing in March to April and the female flowers uh, pale uh, slightly off pink to green and uh, one can see the uh, three pronged bracts as part of the flower structure before it becomes a cone these held slightly erect um, but the cones um, as they develop point down the way on the spray and here close up of a developing cone and what's most distinctive at Sudatsuga is these three tongued brats that emerge very papery as they are from each rounded uh, cone scale um, the overall shape of the cone uh, elliptic a bit like a rugby ball in shape but uh, yes you can see all these little tongues appearing from the rounded scales and only Sudatsuga would have those needles on the spray relatively soft relatively flat ranked and here on this spray you can see the noticeable difference between this older needles one year old needles which are dark green and the new growth which is very light green in colour and much much softer to the touch here a picture of the pulvenai of the attachment of the needle to the twig and you see it's pretty much just as a slight constriction of the needle as it attaches itself to the twig as a relatively flat uh, attachment. And another very distinctive feature for identification on Sudatsuga is the uh, rather attractive red brown round scaled winter buds, which are relatively large for a conifer uh, with this size needles and quite easily discerned from about uh, midsummer onwards 